Today we're going to talk about mercantilism and colonization. Both of these terms are a result of the Columbian Exchange. So let's start off by looking at the Columbian Exchange. In class, we focus mostly on the negative effects of the Columbian Exchange on the Native American people. Another effect or another result of the Columbian Exchange was the creation of cash crops. A cash crop is a crop that is produced for its commercial value rather than for use by the grower. So what this means is a cash crop is grown by a farmer with the intention to sell, not to consume. Cash crops included these new crops that were found in the Americas, such as potatoes, tomatoes, corn, pumpkin, peppers, tobacco, but also, also cash crops were goods that were in Europe, but now have the space to grow in the Americas, such as sugarcane, wheat, rice, and coffee beans. So speaking of that, another result of the Columbian Exchange that we looked at a lot in class was the, the decrease of the Native American population, mostly because of diseases. As you look at this image, we see that over 100 years, about 24 million people just in central Mexico died um, and that mostly is going to be due to disease. So what this meant is that there was available land in the Americas. So Europeans will come in and they'll create plantations. A plantation is an, is an estate on which cash crops are grown to create a surplus to sell. So they're going to be growing these goods in huge quantities. They're going to be growing potatoes, tomatoes, corn, tobacco, sugar cane, coffee bean, and then eventually we'll see a lot of cotton plantations. They're growing it in a surplus so that they can sell for a profit. Now, in order to get these plantations, the European country is going to colonize. They're going to set up a colony. A colony is an area under full or partial political control of another country. So the other country is going to be European countries, such as the French, Spanish, British, Portuguese, Dutch. They're going to set up these colonies. Uh, and for right now, we're going to focus mainly on the Americas. So these European countries saw this available land and took it to create these plantations to grow these cra cash crops in order to sell in Europe for a profit. The mother country is the European country, the country that is in control. This sets us up for mercantilism. This is a new economic theory that you need to sell more than you buy in order to make a profit. Seems kind of reasonable, right? If you sell more than you buy, then there is that profit, that extra money that you can use for whatever you would like. It's seen here, the fewer imports or things that you're buying that you have, and the more exports, the more that you're selling is a balance of trade that is favorable. That means you have extra money. The important thing to take away from mercantilism, though, is that this created the belief that a country's power is determined by its wealth. Prior to this time, we see a country's power is determined by the land that they had. But now land is becoming less significant and it's more about wealth. Wealth can also allow for countries to have larger militaries, which is another way of showing their power. So mercantilism, we can also connect directly to this idea of nationalism, right? It's the idea of uh, creating a powerful country. And that's going to grow pride, pride for that country. Well, that's not how you spell pride. Thanks.